So what's going on guys, I'm Black Hats Amazing, welcome back to another video. Now lately we've been doing quite a lot of theory videos again, going over all the easter eggs from Call of Duty Zombies, specifically Black Ops 1, BO2 and some BO3 as well. And while I was looking in the comments, I saw someone bring up the fact that in Mob of the Dead, Nikolai was mentioned by the Weasel. But, as far as we know, now that the Ether storyline is finished, the Weasel or Arlington never came into contact with Nikolai. He shouldn't know who he is. He never met him. But in Mob of the Dead, he spoke about him. So I wanted to revisit this and see now that the storyline is finished, because the last time I spoke about it was years and years ago. I want to say like five or six years ago. There was still stuff to find out, but now we know everything. So if you don't know what I'm referring to, in Mob of the Dead, when you pick up the ray gun, the Weasel will say this. Nikolai, 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 Nikolai. Why do I keep hearing that name? This is the only way to activate this quote by picking up the ray gun. And of course, straight away when we heard this, it was suspicious because in the Call of Duty Zombies storyline, the weasel had never met Nikolai. He shouldn't have known who he was yet. He was saying his name and we can tell by the quote, the weasel doesn't know who he is. He hears the name Nikolai in his head, but he's not sure why. He doesn't know who Nikolai is. So the big question has always been, why was the weasel hearing Nikolai's name? Now, obviously there have been many theories over the years, but ultimately to this day, now the storyline is finished, we don't have an official answer. You can theorize, but that's all it would be, a theory. But in my opinion, there are theories that are more plausible than others, especially now that we've had Blood of the Dead. When we first heard this in Mob in BO2, we didn't know about the laboratory under Alcatraz, we didn't know about the blood vials, we didn't know about Blood of the Dead's ending, which obviously takes place in the same place as Mob of the Dead, Alcatraz. We didn't know about how the Shadow Man manipulated the warden to trap in the mobsters on the island, along with a load of other things. So now that this story is over and we know everything about it, we can perhaps come up with some more accurate theories as to why the weasel heard Nikolai's name in Mob of the Dead. Now, like I said, in our Card Zombie storyline, the weasel had never met Nikolai. Before he was in prison, he had no contact with him, and even after he was locked up, he'd never heard of his name up until this point until he heard it in his head when he was trapped in this cycle, in the afterlife, in purgatory. So why or even how was the weasel hearing Nikolai's name in his head? Well, the one big correlation we can make between the weasel and Nikolai is both of them helped to end the cycle. In Alcatraz, both of these characters were just as important as each other. In Mob of the Dead, the weasel was kind of like the main character. It was his death on the rooftop of the prison that got the mobsters trapped in purgatory in the first place. And it was also him getting revenge on the mobsters by killing them on the Golden Gate Bridge that ended up breaking the cycle. And then we go to Blood of the Dead where in a similar circumstance, Nikolai takes the role of leader from Richthofen after he sacrifices himself on the machine. He becomes the leader of the group, similar to how Arlington was in Mob. And also, Nikolai was integral to breaking the cycle in Blood of the Dead. So you can see both of these characters were in very similar situations. Both in Alcatraz were important to breaking their respective cycles. Now, another thing we know in Blood of the Dead is the weasel plays a very important role in breaking Nikolai's cycle. When the Primus crew end up being captured by Brutus and are thrown into jail cells, it is the weasel in the form of a seagull that helps to free them. He comes along, opens their prison cells, and they then go on to defeat Brutus and break the cycle. More than likely, without the weasel's help, Nikolai wouldn't have been able to break his own cycle. So, going back to him hearing Nikolai's name in his head in Mob, the reason for that could have been was because he was going to be important to breaking Nikolai's cycle in the future. That was the reason he kept hearing Nikolai's name repeat over and over again in his head. It was just at the time of Mob of the Dead, he didn't know why. He didn't know who Nikolai was. That hadn't come around yet. But the reason he was hearing his name was because it was a hint to him that in the future, he would play an important role in breaking Nikolai's cycle. And also his situation is pretty similar to what Nikolai's would be. Now, there are also other questions that come along with that theory. If that is true, it still doesn't necessarily explain what's causing him to hear Nikolai's name in his head. Is it someone specifically talking to him, repeating this name over and over? Well, something that's quite interesting is in Blood of the Dead, you can find multiple different drawings that are from Arlington, or we believe they are. We know that Arlington is an artist. We can find in Mob of the Dead a comic drawing from him. We know he did drawings, and since there's no name to any of these, and if you match the writing up with what we know to be Arlington's, we assume that these drawings were done by Arlington. We have one of Brutus. We have one of some zombies raising their hands in the air, and then Arlington as a seagull flying over them. I would assume releasing their souls from purgatory, as is what happens in Blood of the Dead's ending. Some people coming to and from Alcatraz via boat. But the most interesting one in relation to this video is this drawing that Arlington does of Ultimus 
Richtofen. And right next to it is some writing that says, who the hell are you? Now, if you are familiar with the zombie storyline, you will know that Arlington never met Ultimus Richtofen. He shouldn't know who he is, yet he's doing drawings of him. And next to him, he's written, who the hell are you? Initially, when I first saw this years and years ago, I thought this must be Ultimus Richtofen saying, who the hell are you? To whoever he's looking at. But at the same time, it could be the weasel who's saying this because he's drawn a picture of Ultimus Richtofen. He's drawn this face, this character, but he has no idea who he's drawn. And he's saying to himself, well, who is this? Who the hell have I drawn? Who the hell are you? Arlington has drawn Ultimus Richtofen, but he shouldn't know who he is. Which brings up the idea that Arlington was having visions. These drawings of people coming and leaving Alcatraz on a boat, the Brutus one and him flying as a seagull above zombies is more self-explanatory. But some of these are depictions that the weasel shouldn't know of. He shouldn't know of Ultimus Richtofen, yet he's drawn him and he doesn't know who he's drawn. Which leaves us with the idea that in Alcatraz, he was having visions in his head and he's drawn them. And then we go back to his quote in Mob where he says, Nikolai, 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 why do I keep hearing that name? Well, not only was he having visions, but he also heard names in his head as well. He heard Nikolai's name. And that's a harder question to answer. If the weasel was having visions and hearing names in his head, besides from the possibility of it being a hint that he needs to help Nikolai in the future, was there a different reason? Well, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we know that it was the Shadow Man who corrupted the Warden to entrap the mobsters in purgatory. The Shadow Man spoke to the Warden in his head. In fact, we know anyone corrupted by Element 115 or anyone corrupted by the Dark Ether is susceptible to hearing the Shadow Man's voice in their head. So could the Weasel have been suffering with that? Could he have been hearing the Shadow Man's voice in his head? Was it the Shadow Man saying Nikolai, Nikolai, Nikolai? over and over again to him. That's possible because the whole reason why the mobsters were trapped here in the first place was to ultimately trap the premise characters. Think of it as a trap for a trap. The mobsters weren't the main goal. The Shadow Man only wanted them trapped here so he could eventually trap the premise characters here. It was mainly Richtofen that he wanted so he could take his blood. If it wasn't the Shadow Man speaking to Nikolai, then maybe it had something to do with the Lighthouse. In Blood of the Dead, we know that the Lighthouse allows Richtofen to communicate with Stuhlinger through the ether. So maybe the Lighthouse in Mob of the Dead allowed someone to communicate with the Weasel in his head and repeat Nikolai's name over and over again. There are also less interesting answers it could just be that at the time when this came out in Mob of the Dead, it meant totally nothing, which I think in one way is probably the answer because at this time, I find it very difficult to believe that back in, was it 2013 when Mob of the Dead came out? Troyok would have thought back then how BO4 and Blood of the Dead was going to end. I don't think at the time of Mob of the Dead when they added this quote into the game, they were thinking that eventually they were going to return here and Nikolai was going to break the cycle. But maybe they did. And the other less interesting answer is, well, Mob of the Dead came before Origins, so this could have just been a teaser for us being reunited with Richtofen, and Taku, Nikolai and Dempsey again as the premise characters in Origins. But we know Troyok better than that. There's always a reason why they add quotes like this into the game. So it's not meaningless in that sense. It wasn't just a teaser that we're going to be hitting Origins a couple of maps later, playing as Nikolai again. The reason I believe in Mob of the Dead, the weasel was hearing Nikolai's name in his head was because someone was telling him or trying to tell him that in the future, later on down the line, he is going to be very important. That's going to be someone that you need to help. The weasel would have to help Nikolai to break the cycle, which in turn also helped the weasel to escape, to be free. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, drop a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest content on the channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.